Hey parents, this is Joe Van Arum and I got to be the Bible teacher for Teen One year 2024 here at Lake Lundgren Bible Camp. And this year we're using the Bible verse from 1 Peter 1.7. And I've never been at a camp that has emphasized that your faith will be tested. So this whole week, we're not just talking about putting your faith in Jesus, we're talking about how your faith will be tested so that you will grow deeper in Jesus and your faith will be worth more than gold. Each night this week we went through a series of messages and on Monday night we focused on the word gold and how God is going to use a lot of different things to refine us, to smelt us down so that we are pure gold. And that takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of pain because when we go through those times it's not easy, but going through that journey will make our faith prove genuine. On Tuesday night we talked about loss and how God wants us to think of everything as loss compared to knowing Him. Jesus Christ is, of course, worth more than gold, and everything else is just garbage, according to the Apostle Paul. So we want to make sure that we are leaving everything go. Just like it says in Hebrews, we should rid ourselves and get rid of all the things that hinder us. On Wednesday night, we talked about how do you live this faith, and I focused on an illustration by the author Jerry Bridges, where he talked about two words, the word discipline and the word dependence. And he used the idea of flying on a plane, that you need two wings to fly the plane, we need two things to make our Christian life go. We need to be disciplined with all of the Christian disciplines, but we ultimately need to be depending on God. So there's a part that we have to play and a part that God plays. It's all His, but if we are not disciplined, God is not going to be able to use us. We want to be used. Thursday night we had a special worship service found by the waterfront. Tonight what we're going to do is we're going to be talking about can God use an ordinary person? Because in the Bible, we often hear of the superheroes, and sometimes we hear of the supervillains. But can God use an ordinary person? That's tonight's message. And then tomorrow, we're going to go to the book of Revelation, Revelation 4. We're going to have some choir practice where the elders laid their golden crowns down in front of, the, in front of Jesus, and they sang that he is holy, holy, holy. And we're going to do a little choir practice before we leave. Thanks for sending your kids to Lake Lundgren. It is a great place to explore your faith. It's a great place to commit yourself to Jesus. And if you have any questions, contact the, the camp. We'd love to help you out as you're going through this journey. Thanks for sending your kids.